Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. With Scar here, bringing you another creative fun time episode with Scar as we continue to build this amazing modern house. And in today's episode, we will fix the sides of the house. We will build pathways, trees, and fountains, and all sorts of other great stuff. So we're going to get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back. And it's good to have you here today. And before we head to our yard, we are going to take one quick look at what we completed in our previous episode. So let's head on up the stairs here. And right around the corner here, we built a game room. So we built a unique pool table and a LAN party setup and a little checkers and chessboard over there and a little refreshment stand with a milkshake maker, of course. And I made one change over here real quick. Let's take a peek at this here. And I switched it out to milk chocolate wood. And I went for the oak. And I think this has enough contrast to be different than the floor and different from the other... Uh, furniture pieces, but not clash with everything so bad as the oak kind of has. So give me kind of an idea of what you guys are thinking about this new choice of the wood. I think it's a little more subtle, a little less, um, you know, kind of bright. So we'll, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. But other than that, I think that came out pretty darn cool. All right. So hop on the table and head on outside because we are going to start working on the sides of the house. So as you remember, when we were working in the house, we had a few things that stuck through the wall and looked un very unsightly from the outside, as you can see here and there. So what we did over here was we masked them by adding some nice new designs to the outside. So that's what we're going to do over here. So we're going to get started here and we're just going to whoops, run some pillows up the sides of the house. Now, I told you when we were building these areas, I was going to take care of this. Don't you worry, Scar will take care of it. There we go. So we're just going to make kind of a nice little design. Now I decided to go too high on this. So two blocks up here. I don't want it to be higher than that one over there. We're kind of mimicking that. Okay, so I'm going to go right here. There we go. Now I'm going to bring this up here. And that's a problem. But we're going to fix it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Look at that. We fixed it. There we go. Just like that. Fixed and completed. Okay, let's see here. And now we're going to kind of run this design up the sides of the house here. Perfect. Put that along there. And I think that's going to look pretty good. This will keep this area not looking so, you know, messy from the outside like it did before. It'll look pretty nice. Now you can do this with your own houses or you could, you know, use plant life, trees, plants, you know, a big bush or something like that to cover that up. That also works. We're going to use the bush method at two on the side of the house over here where we cover up a few pieces, I think. Maybe over there. I was looking at that and I was like, hmm, what are we going to do about that? Okay. Let's take a peek. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right. Perfect. So, as you guys know, hopefully you guys enjoyed or if you didn't, now if you didn't see it, if you did not see the fireworks show, definitely go and check it out. We did it in Scarland yesterday. Or not yesterday, but over the weekend, and it was amazing. I absolutely loved making that video for you guys. It took three weeks, and it took a lot of resources. It took about 250 pieces, not 250, 2,500 pieces of gunpowder. That's a lot of gunpowder. And um, I think it was well, well worth it. Now, some people have been asking some questions. No, fireworks are not a mod. They are in vanilla Minecraft. They're just very, very time consuming to make. Um, what was the other questions? You know, was it built in creative? Nope, all survival, 100%. Even the music was from the game. I wanted to build something purely survival for you guys in Scarlet because of course Scarlet is a survival world. And it was um, it was quite something to make, but I, I think it just came out really well and you guys seem to have liked it, and that was, that was, that's all that really matters to me, is that you guys liked it, and it, uh, let me just bring this in there like that, okay, there we go, there we go, so the only firework that we couldn't actually make, yeah, that looks good, um, was the, uh, the star, sh or the, uh, the player head one, the one that has, like, a creeper, or, something like that on it. That was the only one we couldn't make because you can't get that in vanilla. Or I guess you probably could put a wither head. Now I have a wither head, but I'm not gonna blow it up in a firework. Right, maybe I should've done that for the finale. That would've made a really nice finale. Just blew up three wither heads. <laughs> there we go. Nice, nice. Outside the house looks pretty nice and pretty darn fancy. So now we're gonna fly on over here and we're gonna kinda take a look at the path. 
Now I decided to skinny up the path a little bit. As you can see, it's three three wide there. I'm going to move it to about two wide, and I might I might remove you know one layer of this over here. I think three is a little too wide. I think two is the perfect number for the house for scale. And what I want to do now is I want to build a fountain. I want to build a fountain here, which will then transition into the pool right there. So I'm going to try to map that out a little bit and then do some nice uh, landscaping. Now, as you can see over here, I've mapped out this area slightly. So I think planning out your builds are very important. So as you can see, the, the pathway kind of meanders and wraps around here. So what this is going to lead to is maybe a gazebo. We'll build kind of a mountain up here. Not a mountain, but, you know, just a little hill and have the gazebo be up a little higher than the rest of the garden here. And then over here, we'll have a nice lawn, so back lawn with a tree and a swing and a bouncy ball for the kids or whatever. And, um, of course, the pool goes out here. The pool is going to be massive and awesome. So, um, yeah, so that's that's kind of what's going on over there. So then this path will, you know, line up over there and then the pool entrance will be right about there. So give me one second. Let me kind of map out a little bit more of this path and I'll be right back. All right. And look at that beautiful sunrise over the modern house. All right. So I, as you can see, I lined up our pathway. So we got that all kind of sorted out and I think that looks pretty good. So we've got a little niche in here for our entrance to our pool and our little uh, fountain that we're going to build right there. So when you're laying out your pathways, like I was saying before, it's always important to lay them out first and kind of get a feel for where different aspects of your landscape are going to meet the path. So we got the entrance to the pool. We have our entrances to our house through these areas. And then this kind of wraps around a lawn with a tree and different things like that. And of course, the gazebo and then the exit over there. So it's always important to kind of lay this out first. It gives you a good uh, foothold for what you want to do next. All right, so I'm just going to remove this line here. There we go. And let's do the same on this side over here. So let's put those up there for now. There we go. And break some glass. Nothing like breaking some glass. Okay, so we're going to finally get to see what I've envisioned all this time to have these big windows be actual French doors leading out to the garden. Look at that. That's amazing. Look at that nice feel. You're in here kind of chilling out. You got the windows open. You got a nice breeze coming through here. Oh, that's awesome. That's that's really pretty cool. Okay. All right. So let's get started here. Let me grab that back. Thank you. And let's see here. So I want to lay out this fountain. So I'm trying to kind of decide how I want to do this said fountain. So maybe something like this. Something like that. And a little bit like that. All right. Let's see here. Hmm. So I'm trying to, I'm making this on a whim here. Let's actually see if this comes out. If it comes out, I want a cookie. I want a cookie. Well, I actually can't eat the cookie, so that's unfortunate. Um, let's see here, put that right there. And let's see, I'm gonna go like that. And I'm gonna go like that. Something like that. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's see, let's see, oh, I see. Oh, I figured it out. I figured out where I went bad. Let's see, put that right there. I should, probably should have planned this out, but it's actually kind of fun to figure it out as you go along here. Um, let me back this all off. There we go. So at this point, you can see we, we've, we failed. You know, we failed. I'll admit that. We failed. That's okay. Um, now I'm just trying to figure out how to wrap this how I want it to be. But we're not going to give up. We're not going to give up. We're going to keep persevering. There we go. Put that right there and oh oh dear that's not good <laughs> um let's see here i'm trying to make this kind of have this little but this is too big this is what i don't want here so let me back that off um hmm i know what i have in my mind but i'm just having trouble kind of lining these pillars up how that should go so i'm gonna go like that there we go that's how it should be can I even redo that? I don't even know how I did that. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. There we go. Look at that. We've got something now, finally. Okay, so I'm going to kind of cut that off right there. And then I'm going to do the same like that. So cut that over there. Is that how we want it? Is that how we want it? I'm almost thinking about even maybe even bringing it out a little bit even more like that. There we go. I like that. Yeah, let's let's do that. Gives it a little bit more detail. Just gives it a, you know that little extra swoop around. 
and probably make you guys incredibly dizzy. I do definitely apologize about that. Um, so something like that. There we go. Oh, yeah, perfect. I like that. That's a nice kind of unique shape. Is it actually even? I don't even think it is. I don't think this side matches the other side. Well, this is what you get when you make a on-the-fly fountain design. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, like, so this is more, like, zigzaggy. I kind of like, I do like that. I'm just trying to replicate that. I wish you could, you know, put a block here and it puts a block over there. Wouldn't that be cool? Like a mirrored brush effect in Photoshop or something? Be super cool. Okay, come on. Let's get this done there, Scar. Let's get this done. Let's get this done. Hmm. This is incredibly aggravating. Well, it doesn't have to mirror the, the... No, let's not. Let's not mirror it as the front. Let's have it unique on, on that side so it's more flat on that side, more detailed on the front side. So I'll give you guys an overview. You can just skip to this point in this and go, okay, if you want to create the exact same thing. I like that. It's not exactly the same. Perfect. I always make things way too even. So I will leave it as so. All right. And that is how you make a fountain in two minutes without having any pre-planning. I'm just like, I want to make a, a, ma a mountain scar. No, you made a fountain scar. <laughs> All right. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Just the way we like it. Um, let me see. We're actually going to probably need some water for that fountain. Yes, we will. Fill that all in there, like so. And then I'm going to bring this up here about that high. And let it flow down. Fill in the cracks. There we go. Perfect. Well, nice. That was that was simple. You know, we, we made a few goof-ups, but I think that's pretty good. No pre-planning, just busted that thing out. Not bad. I like it. it. It adds a lot of detail. I almost think, you know, we could always bring up the water line, but it would have that overlap there, so I don't think that would look too good. But I kind of like all that white, like, lines all zigzagging around there. Just kind of like a complicated design. I like it. I like it. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Now, we could always, you know, even push this out even a little bit more just to give this a little bit of breathing room. So we can just sample that, add a little bit more here. There we go. And then bring that like so. What do you think? I like that. I think that's good. I like giving a little extra breathing room right there from the path. And I don't like, I like how it has this unique edge there. We know we tried to replicate it there, but we kept failing. But I actually like it. I like how it's just flat on that one side. Very good. All right, so give me one second. Let me kind of catch my breath, and I'm going to make another one of our olive trees to go right there. All right, and welcome back, and look at our little olive trees we've got all planted here, and I think that looks pretty good. So we're going to start to run this landscaping out this way, so we're going to start to push this over here. So we're going, continuing for that kind of California feel to it, where we're using some, you know, some ferns and some Silicon Valley type style. You know, we've got our you know, our olive trees and our oak trees from the past in the other area over there. And we're using some lilacs in here. So that's going to look really cool. And there we go. Put that right there. Put those right there. So what we're going to do here is we're kind of using some of the bigger plants in the back, as you can see. So I don't want to go lilac crazy. I don't want them to be overpowering. So I'm going to use them pretty sparingly. I probably have maybe too many of them already, but we'll see as we kind of go along. But Put the bigger plants in the back and then the smaller ones kind of in the front like so like this there we go and this creates kind of a kind of a nice feel to it it's not it's not a super modern type landscaping but it's uh i don't know i just really like this better you know we could have gone with you know straight you know pointy trees all the way across and stuff like that but i just didn't feel like this this is the house for that maybe another house maybe your next modern house but not this particular house. This is why we're going for a little bit more kind of random, eclectic um, style of landscaping here. So put a few pieces around there like that, and then fill in some of the ferns in the front like that, and then use the flowers sparingly in the mix. So, you know, if you don't like one, you know, oh, ooh, whoops. Uh, if you don't like the one, you know, switch it out and, um, you know, move it around a little bit. So just sparingly add plants here or there, slowly build it up like that. 
We could also use some taller grass a little bit closer to the back here too. There we go. And if you think of any flowers we could add, so if you're thinking like, ooh, you know what? I think that color might look good, Scar. Definitely let me know. Definitely let me know any other colors that might look good. So it's kind of, you know, it's got a lot of life to it. It's got, you know, the bigger plants in the back, a little bit of color from the lilacs. And I think that's starting to look pretty good. So let's add a few of these guys in front. Nothing too much in front of the fountain like that. And then we'll run over here. And then I like to take the jungle leaves here and I like to kind of run them up like a vine kind of growing up the side a little bit. There we go. Put some of these guys here. Dig some down a little bit. Just adds a little bit more to the, you know, the life of the area. And then we can throw in maybe a couple big ferns like that right about here. Add just a small bit of color with the flowers. There we go. Perfect. Like looking super awesome at this point. Looking really good. Okay. Now over here. We could throw in another um, another tree, maybe right there, but I'm gonna hold off for now. I'm gonna hold off for now and kind of think about it, maybe get your guys' opinion on that. If we could use maybe another olive tree, maybe maybe even right here and here, but I don't wanna do too many of them right there, but we'll think about it. We'll think about doing that there. We can always add that later. Not a big deal at all. So we just put that up there like that, you know, just grow that up the side of there. We could throw in a few more pieces like that. Dig down, remember, dig down a few times too. We could also throw in a piece of cobblestone here or there as a rock. You know, we've we've talked about that in the past a little bit is kind of the, you know, trying to push the cobblestone a little bit, but not look make it look like, you know, like a failed attempt at trying to build like something. So put a few more lilacs in there like that. Just add that little extra bit of color. We could probably stick one more lilac in this area, but like like I said, we want to do those super sparingly. There we go. Sometimes you hit another plant over the other one, but that's okay. There we go. And then we can kind of throw in just a few of these guys. Not too many, but just a few here or there. Just helps fill in the area a little bit. There we go. And yeah, look at that. I think that's starting to come out really good. So where we're gonna do the pool here, we're also gonna do some really tall trees along here. So that'll be a new design we'll do in our next episode, but these will kind of flow through here leading to the big entrance to the pool right about there. So let's fly on over here and finish this section right here. So let's do another uh, row here. And this is where we, this is where it comes in. If you see a piece like that, that doesn't flow with the rest of the house, just add a bush around it like that. It really helps to kind of mask it a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Good. Okay. And then we'll just fill in a couple of these big guys back here like that. And then we'll throw in a lilac here or there like that. And then just a few filler plants like that. Ferns in the center and a flower for color. And yeah, I think that came out really good. So let's head on inside. Let's take a look inside. Oh, that's beautiful. Looking out there, just really inviting to make you want to go outside. And then out here, you can see all the, you can just get a hint of the fountain off the sides there of the window. Looking really nice. And well, guys, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Look at what we completed in our previous episode. So we finished off this area over here. We made a small little sitting area with two uh, kind of unique chairs. They're kind of on angles. I like that. We have our little bonsais up on our little uh, design up here. I think that looks nice. We did some wall wall uh, treatments over here. I think that's good. And then our bathroom. I think this came out nice for the space that we had. We had just a